What would you tell Christopher today? Uh, yeah, I'm Amazon coming. I mean, you want to go try for a job over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. That's the mom of Deputy Christopher Nye. Today marks one year since the Bibb County Jailer was killed in the line of duty, stabbed in the neck, and died at the age of 30. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says Knight, along with four or five other jailers, were moving inmate Albert Booz from a cell block to another section of the jail. They say Booz grabbed a knight from Knight's hip and attacked him. Ashlyn Webb sat down with Cheryl Knight, talking about her path to healing and what her son said about his job before he died. But you know, it's just hard not to cry. The last year has been one of healing for Cheryl Knight. Very challenging. Yeah, and it's been very lonely. I miss him a lot. She says her son's co-workers, her friends, and family guided her through. But one of the biggest hands in healing is one of the smallest. The daughter, Say daddy bye. Say bye. Bye, daddy. Christopher Knight, left behind. <laughs> she reminds me so much of him. It's almost like he, it's almost like I'm starting over with him, as, but as a girl this time. Zamira Knight, now three years old. She she talks about her dad all the time. We don't even have to remind her. She reminds us about her dad. Who is that? Daddy. Daddy. Yeah. Lulu, as What's her family night? calls her, carries a daily reminder of her dad, a doll dressed in his uniform, a tag reading his name and a badge over his heart. Cheryl girl. says she'll tell her granddaughter you know how her father Tomorrow, was a hero. He is. He's a real life hero. Mm -hmm. He's a real life hero. Cheryl okay. says her son was many things. Late back, easy going, funny, a movie lover, a pizza lover. <laughs> but she never wanted him to be a deputy. But now how he chose that, I don't know, because Chris was trying to be an MMA, uh, MMA fighter. <laughs> so when he told her he planned to take a job as a Bibb County jailer. I was like, really? <laughs> and then I was like, well, okay, Chris. I said, well, that's a, it's an honorable job, you know, and you'll be helping, the, helping your community. You know, and I said, nah, I'm not saying I'm not going to be scared because I am. I said, but is that what you want to do? I support you. Cheryl says her son loved his nearly three years as a Bibb County jailer. But she says he also talked of the danger working behind the barbed wire, a place, he told his mother, all jailers must have each other's backs. He said you can look up at any time and the inmates would be outside of their cells, that the locks didn't work well. Mm -hmm. As a mom, knowing that, how did you respond? I would just, I told him to be careful, just be careful. And I prayed for him all the time. And I always asked God to cover him in the blood before he went to work. So when a call came in on April 6th, 2021. Before I even said hello, I knew something had happened to him. When she made it to the emergency room, doctors and nurses were trying to save his life. I told her, I said, please go check and tell him don't stop working on him. Tell him to please help my baby. And so it took a while to come back and I knew for the length of time that it took her to get back, that it wasn't good. And of course, when she came back, she told me that he didn't make it. When asked why her son died, she said not all the blame belonged to Albert Booz, the man accused of stabbing and killing Deputy Knight. Ultimately, it wasn't safe as it should have been in that prison, in that jail. I think it wasn't safe as it should have been. She says the jail should have been better staffed and Albert Booz should have been getting treatment in a mental health facility not in a jail. It's like I don't want I don't want it to happen to anyone else and I just feel like what is what is going to be done, you know, because you, I don't want this to happen to anybody. I don't want any other mother to have to go right. through what I've gone through cuz this is like this is something that you don't want any parent, your enemy, anybody to have to go through. Reporting in Megan, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Amazing News. Deputy Knight's death prompted major changes to the Bibb County Jail from how it functions day to day to the very bones of the building. Tomorrow night at 11, Ashland takes us inside the jail to see what's changed and if it's any safer than it was in April of 2021.